So I want to do a, uh, a quick video showing you how you can scavenge pretty useful parts from uh, old devices that you're not using anymore. Um, I was going through some stuff in my closet yesterday and I came across a little USB optical mouse that I don't even know where I got it from and I certainly haven't used it in years. So. I uh, figured why the heck not. I'll uh, take it apart and see what kind of little goodies I can get out of it. Um, so this is the actual the actual board from from inside the mouse. I've already taken some pieces off, but you, know, you can see like little integrated circuit there, which is a I've you know looked it up online and figured out what all the pins do. I'm not sure how useful the actual the actual IC will be, but. You can see there's some you know capacitors on here, an LED or two, a little, little transistor there, and uh, some some resistors. But I'm not sure if I'm really gonna pull those off or not. Um, but the main thing I was after for taking this apart were um, were the micro switches for one, which is basically what's used uh, in the the mouse buttons themselves. You can see there's a little little blue on there, and you can even hear that or not. A clicking sound, but basically it's just you know that's what that's what you click when you click your mouse is one of these little guys. I just got a few pins in the bottom, and I ran the the multimeter on it to figure out you know which which pin does what basically. And basically one pin is a is an in pin for for the power, and then the the power you know basically as you switch it will flow between one or the other. So. Uh, another piece I was after in here was the actual optical part of it. Um, this little guy here is what actually is in the bottom of the mouse and, and is what is used to detect the uh, change in direction. Um, I read this tutorial online actually being able to use one of these with an Arduino, which mine will be in according to FedEx this coming Thursday. It's about four to five days away. but. You can actually build this into a circuit, and and the Arduino will recognize the x and y direction change um, based off of this little guy here. So I'll probably be trying to implement that in some project. Then also uh, the scroll wheel itself, um, another type of switch that you know when you rotate it, basically sends a signal down through its its own three pins. So um, I don't know, I might be able to use that, but. If not, I was really just after the uh, the micro switches for the clickers, and then also the the actual optical sensor of the mouse. Um, so I was testing out uh, how to use the switches, and I just you know did this really simple setup here with, with the buzzer. And so basically, when you push the uh, push the micro switch, the buzzer sounds. Nothing fancy, but I was just making sure that I knew. Uh, Knew how the micro switches switches worked for for an application. So, uh, plan on using using one of these switches in my lamp project that I'm working on. I, I might even be able to use the the scroll wheel for that, but we'll see. So, just kind of cool being able to take apart a, a device and scavenge some some uh, somewhat somewhat useful uh, items out of it. So, if you're uh, interested in in electronics at all, then I definitely recommend looking around and finding things that you can tear apart and play with. So.